When last we saw Gabby, he had survived an attempt on his life from two former business acquaintances who shot him with meatballs. When they realized their mistake, they threw him overboard, where he survived sharks, ate balls in a deserted island. <laughs> Wait, don't you dare throw me in the ocean. You will regret this when you have no one to talk to. Take that, Mattel. You will travel seven miles down the coast, where you will find a cave. There you will find some fish. There is no what to do. With a little help from above, Gabby found a yellow submarine and was able to return to civilization. We now find Gabby at home. Welcome back home, Pops. Son, I can't tell you how wonderful it feels to be back home. I thought I wouldn't survive that island. Those treacherous, gigantic turtles hunting me every day. The sarcasm of that magic ape all named Mattel. Oh, I tell you. And the natives were even more scary, hiding in the trees around me every night, as if waiting for me to sleep so they could begin the part of Gabby Stew. It was quite an adventure, one that I hope to never repeat again. But then again, I never expected to be shot multiple times with meatballs and thrown into the sharks. What are you gonna do? Let's see, six letter word, female name starting with T. I don't know. Son, did I ever tell you about this lady whose name was Debbie? But she didn't spell it D-E-B-B-I-E. -E. No, she spelled it D-E-B-B-I. So what's the big deal, Pops? I will tell you the big deal if you just quiet down and listen. I said, uh, what is that? What is wrong with you? Did you get tired at the I and just decide to throw the E away? She said, no, it's just more different that way. I said, uh, what if Barbara got tired? I mean, different like you, and decided to throw the A away. She would be known as Barbar. -Bar. She said, oh, that's silly. Oh, yeah? How about if Sage decided to be lazy, I mean, different, and drop the E? She would forever be known as Sig. And if Joe did it, she would be J. What's next? More difference? This could be the end of society. Like if Cassidy decided he didn't like the C at the start. Or Greer didn't like the G. And Ricky didn't like the R. Or worse, if Teresa decided to be Erisa. Now, this is all crazy. If you ask me, you should have left the E at the end and dropped the D at the front, Abby. What are you going to do? Well, oh, son, crazy names aside, it's good to be back. Is there any business I need to look at? Well, Pops, you got this letter in the mail. Oh, really? Let me see that. Hmm. Seems we are invited to attend a fundraiser and an investment opportunity for some place called Tube Town. Tube Town is coming! What the hell was that? Oh, well. Anyway, where was I? I saw something about this recently on the TV. All I kept saying was it was coming. Tube Town is coming. Sounds a bit wacky if you ask me. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Pops? Well, son, I think we should go and see what's in the offering. I can't go, Pops. I have to do some business. Oh, so I guess I'm going alone, like on that island, just me. All alone, once again. Come on, Pops, it'll be all right. Oh, I know I'll be all right. I will see if this tube town is worthy of investment. At the very least, I can offer them some protection from the riffraff. If you know what I mean, son. Pops, you know we don't do it no more. All right. <laughs> wink, wink. Before I go, son, did we locate the meatballs duo 
No one is earning its cut. No pops, we haven't found them. That's a shame. I wanted to make them an offer. One they wouldn't want to pass the over. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Hey, would you look at that? Finally an episode I didn't get killed in. Must be one of them Christmas miracles. What are you gonna do? Guess I better get ready to go to Tube Town. That's a good boy, Cabby. Follow along in the plans. I told you you will regret tossing me in the ocean. Can't wait to see you in Tube Town. <laughs> Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, I soon will be in Tube Town. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, I need to eat my cannolis. 